Good morning everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about the salt spray chamber, the very important testing which is used to check the corrosion resistance in the automotive components or any kind of sample which is metallic in nature. So we used to see by creating a certain atmospheric conditions in a small chamber which is a standardized chamber, we will create some conditions like a temperature, humidity, air pressure in such a way that after a certain duration of time it will corrode the specific sample and how much time does it take to corrode the sample will tell the quality of the particular element either it is steel, copper, magnesium or etc. So we will just understand the functioning of a salt spray chamber and how it can help in detecting the quality of your sample. Now the equipment which we are using is the 250 liters Corox 4 Magnus series salt spray chamber which is manufactured by Presto. Now the first you can see this is the chamber part which I will be explaining where we have to place the sample, where the fog generation happens, the fog collection, validation and the whole testing happens here. Then we have a inbuilt reservoir tank facility in this of 60 litre capacity. So that you, in which we have to pour a solution, a standardized solution for creating a salt spray condition in the chamber. So that is also standardized that we have to prepare. Then the third we have a proper control panel from where we will monitor the whole testing and control the functioning of the equipment. So this is the purpose. We have our safety features, the alarms, air purge facility in this control panel. So divided, these are divided into three different ways. So we will understand one by one. And at the last I will also show you the Ethernet connection facility which Presto provides so that you don't need to stand all the time in front of machine. You can run and monitor whole test from your computer screen also. Now we will see the functioning and the sample placement part in the equipment. Now we will understand about the inner chamber so this is the inner chamber. So we have made it very robust. So this is fiber reinforced polymer body that we have used FRP that is to military grade. And this is three layer. The first layer you can see this is of FRP. Then we have our silicon bag heaters in this on the four sides. And then we have a proper glass wool insulation so that the leakage should not occur and the temperature fluctuation, the environmental fluctuation should not occur. So for that insulation is being provided and again we have provided a fiber reinforced polymer layer that is the FRP layer. So this is the body part. So the st st standard we are following here is ASTM B117 in this for the construction. Other standards also, we also follow the Japanese standards or um, the IS 9227 in this. So about the sample placement, this is the fixture. The first is this panel type fixture where these kind of samples can be placed. These panels. We can see that the angle of maintenance, the way we have placed the sample, it is 15 to 20 degree from the vertical that we have to maintain in the chamber. So the fixture should be, it should not be straight like this. So this we have. then. We have these hanging rods, okay, if the sample are of these kinds, the circular parts, then we can hang it as per the angle, this we have and we also have V groove trays in this where small fasteners can be placed, applying to the same angle which I am telling as per the standard. Then we have the fog generation unit from where the proper fog generation happens. First is this. It comprises of two parts. The first is this fog generation this tar. This is automizer tar. We'll just place it sidewards. Now we have a nozzle. The most critical component from the uh, salt spray chamber. So this is the area from where the fog is generated. The blue pipeline is for air pressure and this grey pipeline is collected to the solution tank. It will start providing the fog. So this nozzle is of 
पॉइंट सेवन एम एम डाया मीटर मेकिंग ऑफ दिस नोजल इफ आई टेल यू दिस इज ऑफ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग आइगस मटीरियल बिकॉज इफ यू विल यूज अ वेरी इंफीरियर लेयर ऑफ नोजल देन वॉट विल हैपन द क्रैकिंग एंड डिस्टोरशन इशूज में अगर सो दैट वी हैव मेड सो दैट नो क्रैकिंग इशूज हैपन आफ्टर इफ वी इवन इफ वी आर परफॉर्मिंग अ लॉन्ग ड्यूरेशन टेस्टिंग देन दिस ऑटोमाइजर टार दिस दिस विल स्टार्ट वेन आई विल स्टार्ट द टेस्ट इट विल स्टार्ट गिविंग अ वेरी शार्प लेयर ऑफ फॉग इट विल स्ट्राइक हेयर एंड यूनिफॉर्मली इट विल डिस्पर्स इन द होल चैम्बर सो दिस इज हाउ फॉग जनरेशन यूनिट वर्कस देन द स्टैंडर्ड सेज फॉर द validation of the fog also so that we can understand that the testing is going properly so we have a fog collection unit also so this you can see this is 80 cm square funnel which is connected with this beaker this beaker in this beaker 1 to 2 ml per hour of fog collection should happen if it is happening it means the chamber is ha, has proper uniformity in the fog generation the temperature humidity the nozzle is working properly there is no blockage in the air pressure or solution line that's why everything is working properly so this is the validation you will be able to get through this fog collection unit so this was about the chamber part apart from this we have a temperature sensor this is teflon coated this one and then we have a humidity indicator also so it will sense the temperature and humidity and will show you in the control panel so will tell you that what is the as per astm b117 the neutral salt spray test right now we will be discussing in which what is the chamber temperature humidity the required uh, air pressure etc and the solution now while performing the test this pit we have this pit we have to fill it with water 3/4 of the water so that fog is not coming out and from the from outside this chamber so this we have to make sure this chamber and we'll move to my next part so we have buttons in this for opening and closing the pneumatic lifting we have in this so you need an air compressor in this then we have this inbuilt reservoir tank of 60 liters capacity this inside this we have a properly made solution so in the neutral salt spray test we have to use 5% lab grade new nacl that is sodium chloride and demineralized water in 95% of whatever solution you are making this should be the concentration you will make the solution outside and then you need to pour inside the tank inside this we have a solution sponge filter okay it will absorb any kind of dirt will be there in the if any in the tank so it will absorb and it will provide a clear solution in the pipeline and through nozzle it will disperse so this is how we have maintained the clean standardized solution apart from this the ph maintenance has to be there of 6.5 to 7.2 as per ASTM B117 standard so that you need to monitor uh, at the interval of 96 hours so you can just uh, however you can just check it uh, on 4 hour basis or uh, one day or two day basis because what happens after two days the solution start becoming acidic at uh, micro level we have seen that so after two days it is advised to check it also and change the solution also why i am saying because this is a 60 liters tank sometimes this is not enough for the testing so presto has also provide the facility of auto refilling system in this where you can use an external tank external tank you can fill the solution in that and a pipeline you can attach in behind this uh, behind we have provided the solution inlet and from the solenoid valve it will start taking the solution so you do not need to keep on filling the solution through bucket or something it will automatically take it so that you should not let the solution be more than 2 days in the tank as well in the external tank so that is the advice now we will discuss about the parameters that what should be the parameter so the temperature should be 35 degree celsius plus minus 2 degree celsius relative humidity should be 
5% plus minus 2% RH and the air pressure has to be to 0.7 to 1.2 kg per centimeter square and for the regulation of that we have the air pressure regulator also and gauge also. All these things the air pressure, temperature, the duration you will be provided with the calibration so in order to prove the accuracies which we are giving in the equipment. So this we have this was about the parameter for the neutral salt spray testing. Now we will discuss about control panel and the testing. So this is the control panel of the equipment. So this is the touchscreen HMI panel. This is PLC programmed. First is the program monitor from where you have to see the whole testing. And this is the interface from where you have to run the test. This is the inner chamber part saturation temperature and relative humidity the saturation temperature means behind this we have an air saturator tar when i will start the test the purpose of air saturator is to filter out the air so that no oil or grease particles should enter in the nozzle second fu functioning is to provide the proper humidification in the chamber so the temperature of this is 45 degrees celsius as per the standard 10 degrees more than the inner chamber so that it can maintain the exact relative humidity. So for this humidifier we have used so that saturation temperature is 45 degrees Celsius. Humidity, inner chamber everything is there then from here only we need to run the test and we will be able to see the test running status also and it has started running. Second when we will move to the next part then we have the timer. The facility of timer is, we have a 10 timer facility. You can name your sample like 1, 2, 3, 4 and you can just describe your sample name here. And you can set a timing here. For example, 10 hours, 500 hours, 1000 hours. Accordingly, time you will set and on or off you will set for the time. When the minimum level of time will be completed for any sample, it will give you indication. So we have a proper indication facility audio visual alarm in this case. So after completion of a specific sample, the time will again start. So it will start for the next sample from the same time. That is the benefit in the equipment. So this was the timer facility. After that completion of whole test, we have the history like this. Complying to ASTM norms. So we have a proper non-editable PDF format in the history where we have pH solution, air pressure, concentration and what parameters testing has been done with start and finish timings. So this is how things will look. You can get access this through pen drive and the email. So this was about the program monitor. Now I will tell you about the safety features. If I talk about the alert indicator, so we have given safety features first after time completion you will get an alarm we have the low solution level alarm also when the solution will come down to 15 liters then it will give you the indication of low solution level other than this we also have a facility that the air pressure should be 0.7 to 1.2 if this also will reduce for example just i'm showing so it will give you indication in this form and you will be able to detect in the fault history. For example, right now, air pressure low is indicated here and you can get an audio visual alarm. The best part is test has taken the hold position. Your solution, your electricity, everything is saved. So that is the best part. So it is not in running condition. When you will restore the issue, then only. So we have an air monitoring device in this the test will start running. Now it is getting a proper air pressure, test has again started. So this is the one of the part. Then we have an air saturator temperature overshoot alarm also, inner chamber temperature overshoot alarm. So and the air pressure as I told you. So five alarm facilities we have in as an indication in this. We also have provided the over voltage and under voltage protection in this for the electricity protection. So this was about the main safety features. Now at the last I want to show you the ethernet connection facility in this. 
so with the help of vnc viewer we have connected the machine with the ethernet facility to connect a computer system uh, for running and monitoring the test so you can see right now whatever is happening in the hmi panel is happening in this because it is connected so you can run your whole test from the this only if i am going to the menu if i want to see there is a data logger facility also in this even one minute data record you can get so this is the data record so these things you can excel access in excel format and the final pdf report is there as a non editable format so both facilities we have then that is how this is how the pdf report is there so now right now you can see that uh, if any sort of issue will be there for example air pressure low so it will detect here so this is air pressure low condition weak water level low and when the condition will be restored then automatically the testing will start so this is the condition you can see the fault history why and what kind of issue has happened during the testings so this we have anything you want you can access here from here and you can stop the testing from here also so let me just stop also we also have a mobile connection facility through the wifi mechanism through vnc viewer app so th this facilities we have given so this was about the ethernet connection in this so all these things we are performing so that we can perform an accurate corrosion test uh, at the desired duration for the desired duration so this is the main purpose for maintaining the quality of your product either they are in automotive range plated coated or painted samples so for more such videos and new technologies you can contact presto and keep following thank you so much